collective tally. But how far can they push this one? Rejects ahead of them. Loops off to the wayside. Zuxi hiding in plain sight with a DBS. They're going to push him. Oh, they gave him the 1v1s as well, Blank. If the timing was slightly more off on that, he could have taken down both of them and left them in a risky position. Instead, it will be the reset off the back of the res. I get very fortunate here. The fact that there's not a lot of teams watching over towards the north side because pretty much everyone's dead in this circle other than these players over towards the east in Trifecta. It gives them that free rotate across the bridge with the circle leaving a little bit of it still in with that cover. It's so important for IA. Gladiators on, that, on the other hand, what a game from them so far. This has been absolutely huge. Like you said, Matic getting into the swing of things at the start of this game was so important to them. Meku takes down Chief. They got a good tag over towards Ayala so they know he's in this position and even more damage coming from over towards IA. They know they need to switch round though. This is a 4v3. There's one player already down on Gladiators. Oh, Meku drops. Blade coming out like the human hatchet wants to cut his way through them. And the clash for Gladiators finally ends. They were entertaining us. But it's over. No survival now as we're down to the final three. And Gladiators aren't in the runnings anymore. Loops with a solo dolo a man that has been proving his gun skill is incredible but you'd have to go above and beyond in a spot like this i8 as well playing good squad gameplay right now playing off each other's contacts very cleanly for reject tokyo they're getting rejected from this final zone as another one's been put back into the dirt two solos now versus i8 and I8 not having the greatest of days yesterday. They need to step things up in terms of performance. They look a lot stronger here. Yes, they get a little bit fortunate on this circle, but they buy the time. They wait to move in. Ayala, though, crawling through the smoke here. No nades on either loops or reject and all the nades to play with for I8. Really, they just need to start clearing out spaces that might seem a danger, but you don't want to get too close. Blade already takes one hit. He's down, looking for the flush too, and Ayala is in relative safety. He's got smoke to work with on this. Pin pulled on the nade though. That's going to be coming in. If the arc is nice on it, it could connect, but it goes too far. A free pointer when he just needed to get it straight in the hoop. Ayala, that one's going to take him down though. Loops out of commission. Lufa with a peek. Good timing. Hits one. Forces it out into a 1v1. A winnable situation for Reject. They've had so many second places. Can they finally get themselves a chicken dinner on the board? Pushing up close as the shotgun pulled out. Two oh. clean pumps, but it will stop him. Reject Tokyo crumble at the end as i8 claim it mate for reject a lot of good games here a lot of good players a lot of good teams that were able to pop up in this match you know gladiators with their abundance of eliminations there looks so much better so important for them in terms of momentum on the start of the